Now let's set the ball rolling. Now raise the question 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x minus 1 equal to 48. And we are going to solve this question. Now before we solve this question, let's understand this. Now e to the power x times e to the power minus 1 the same as now we have equal basis here so I'll pick only 1 the next thing is to add the exponents so I'll say x plus minus 1 so don't forget this one the same as a to the power x minus 1 so this one plus or minus half minus 1 here so we are going to change this one today so we have 2 to the power x minus 1 and it's the same as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power minus 1 if we understand this one well so this one it means law of indices this one pick will 1 the base are the same pick will 1 then we add the exponents so x plus minus 1 get x minus 1 the next thing is we write this one as 2 to the power x times 2 to the power minus 1. That's nicely done. So we are going to rewrite 2 to the power x minus 1 as this one. So we have that. Now the next thing to do is to change this one. Now we know that e to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 over a so meaning that d to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 on 2 so you are going to change 2 to the power minus 1 to that as nicely done so we have d to the power minus 1 as 1 on 2 as nicely done now the next thing is since we have 2 to the power x here, we have another one here. Now we have two ways of solving this. Now, first method, I will prefer representing this one by a variable. So I'm going to replace this one by any variable. So let's move on to that. So let's 2 to the power x be y. So mean that I'll go back and replace this one with y. You will get y plus y times half. And don't forget, half times y will be y over 2 or half y. Let's move on with that. So we are going to solve for y. After that, go back and replace y with what we represent y for. So we have y plus y by half equals 48. And the next thing to do is to multiply it through by the 2 here. So we can say over 1, over 1. Or we can say over 1, 1, over 1, 1. We can say that. Or we can also say y times half is half y have this one here so this one is very simple so we can now multiply 2 by 2 so by 2 then by 2 then by 2 yeah so you multiply 2 by 2 so we have 2y plus y y plus y equals 96 now this one becomes basic equation so we have 2y plus y which give us 3y equals 96 
we have 3y is equal to 96 so the next step is to divide both sides by the coefficient of y which is 3 so let's move on with that so 3y is equal to 96 the next thing is to divide both sides by the coefficient of y as I said and if you divide then it says by 3 to give you 32 so we have y to 32 now don't forget we represented y by 2 to the power x so we said let 2 to the power x be y so we now move on and replace our y with this figure that is 32 yeah. so we are going to replace our y with that we have y to so this one has been replaced with this yeah that's nicely done now the next thing to do is to find x and before you can find x since we have 2 to the power x we are going to change this one 2 to the power a number that will give us what 32 and we know 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 give you 8 times 2 16 and times 2 32 so 1 2 3 4 5 this one is the same as 2 to the power 5 so we are going to replace this one with this we have to get equal base that is the idea so we are going to replace 32 with 2 to the power 5 so we have that 2 to the power 5 or 2 to the power x now since we have equal basis we move on by saying s is equal to 5 so therefore s is equal to 5 so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe